Praise the Lord Church. Today's Bible meditation is taken from Isaiah chapters 51 and 52 and Revelation chapter 1. If you are new to Living God family, a very warm welcome to you in Jesus name. Hope this video will be a blessing to you as we read through the Bible together. I encourage you to read the chapters during your personal devotion time and become recipients of listening to God's voice daily. Isaiah chapter 51 verses 3 and 11. The Lord will surely comfort Zion and will look with compassion on all her ruins. He will make her deserts like Eden, her wastelands like the gardens of the Lord. Joy and gladness will be found in her thanksgiving and the sound of singing. Those the Lord has rescued will return. They will enter Zion with singing. Everlasting joy will crown their heads. Gladness and joy will overtake them, and sorrow and sighing will flee away. God the Almighty promises to restore Zion. Idolatry, disobedience, and selfishness enabled Israel to lose God's presence and his blessings. The temple that Solomon built was broken and burnt, and Jerusalem was in ruins. However, God spoke to his prophets to restore the glory by bringing the remnants from exile to their homeland. It happened. Temple was built by Zerubbabel. Scriptures were enforced through Ezra the priest and walls were built around Jerusalem for safety and security by Nehemiah. The preparation happened for the coming of the Messiah, Jesus Christ, for the new covenant to be established and to built God's kingdom for eternity with church as the new Zion for all those that believe in him. Today, let's put our faith in Jesus and enter into eternity to live with him and his glorious presence both now and for ever. As we read in Revelation chapter 1 verses 5 through 8, and from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness, the firstborn from the dead and the ruler of the kings of the earth, to him who loves us and has freed us from our sins by his blood and has made us to be a kingdom and priest to serve his God and Father. To him be glory and power forever and ever. Amen. Look, he is coming with the clouds and every eye will see him, even those who pierced him. And all peoples on earth will mourn because of him. So shall it be. Amen. I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord God, who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty. Praise be to our wonder-working God, in Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you for the privilege of your time in watching the videos and being part of Living God community. God bless you all abundantly as we are all created to be holy and happy in Christ Jesus. Amen.